The big letter C from the Coca-Cola sign fell right on top of her. With so many interesting facts, there doesn't seem to be any need for urban legends about the 133-year-old soda. Yet, when a product is subject to such far-reaching and enduring popularity, it's not surprising that a few myths have sprung up along the way. Here are 10 famous Coca-Cola myths that have far more basis in fiction than fact. How do you even drink that? Because it's delicious. Mentos and Coke. Oh my god, it's good! I'm getting out of here! Does anyone even eat Mentos anymore? Or are they solely being produced to be used as a method of wowing students in middle school science classes? If you were ever a 12-year-old, you know about the classic Mentos and Coke experiment. It takes the vinegar and baking soda routine to a whole other level. Simply dropping the candy into a two-liter bottle of Coca-Cola leads to an impressive eruption of bubbles and foam. Unsurprisingly, this experiment led many to wonder what exactly would happen if one were to consume the candy and the soda simultaneously. The only logical hypothesis, at least for 7th graders, is that the combination would be deadly. That's insane! However, the reality is far less sinister. Sure, mixing Coke and Mentos would have an unpleasant effect, but contrary to what the stories would have you believe, it won't cause your stomach to explode, which was the most popular theory. Still, even though the effects aren't fatal, the consequences consequences will be pretty messy, so we strongly recommend you don't try it out. Coca-Cola can dissolve a tooth overnight. Cola could never dissolve a tooth. The source of this rumor is no mystery. It's probably rooted in the efforts of parents to deter their kids from drinking sugary drinks like Coca-Cola. One of the most well-known entries on this list, the myth proclaims that if you leave a tooth submerged in Coke overnight, it will be completely dissolved by morning. Dentists who want you to cut down your sugar intake would probably endorse this legend, but there's not actually any truth to it. Just telling us this? At least we know now. Thank you. What is true, however, is that Coca-Cola isn't doing your teeth any favors. But it's definitely not so fast-acting that it can make a tooth disappear overnight. Although, that would be a pretty cool magic trick. This urban legend comes from the fact that Coke is often referred to as being incredibly acidic. But the fact of the matter is that other inane food items, like orange juice and vinegar, are actually more acidic than this soda. And you don't usually hear concerns about orange juice causing anyone teeth to melt away. So while the possibility of cavities shouldn't be completely discounted, you shouldn't be putting any stock in this particular myth. It gives you pep. My coca leaf addiction is under control. It's a well-known fact that Coca-Cola was originally made with a certain illicit substance. Yep, that one's true. From 1886 to 1903, the soft drink contained what is now widely considered to be an incredibly dangerous drug. That's why it gave people so much pep after drinking it. The risks of said drug were unknown until the early 20th century, and Coca-Cola wasn't the only household item that contained the now illicit substance. It was also included in some tobacco and toothache drops. Even though this substance, which happens to be in the name Coca-Cola, hasn't been used in the soda drink for over a hundred years, there are whispers that it's still being used as a secret ingredient. Would you like to do some cocaine? I'm sorry? This is, of course, false. The rumor probably stems from the fact that coca leaves, from which the illicit substance is derived, continue to be used in the production of the soft drink. However, the leaves used in the soda are what are called spent leaves. This means that all traces of the substance are removed from them, and they therefore will have no stimulating effect when consumed. The leaves are processed at the Steppen Company in Maywood, New Jersey, and are used in the soft drink as a means of flavoring. There's tight regulations that ensures that your sodas are drug-free and can be safely enjoyed, so there's no need for alarm. Pop Rocks and Coke This is the rock having Pop Rocks. Okay. Similar to the Mentos and Coca-Cola rumor is the Pop Rocks and Coca-Cola rumor. This one was particularly prevalent in the 80s and 90s, and if you were a kid during that period, you probably know exactly what we're referring to. If you're unfamiliar with Pop Rocks, it's a small, crystallized candy that comes in packets, which most 
people pour directly into their mouths. Upon entering your mouth, the candy starts to pop. Because of the popping sensation of the candy, people assumed that Pop Rocks and Coca-Cola would have a reaction similar to that of Mentos and Coke. Uh, he's gonna ah! explode! <laughs> The general theory is that a mixture of Pop Rocks and Coca-Cola would cause your stomach to explode. As we all learned earlier in this video, consuming a combination of Mentos and Coke, while not the greatest idea, won't actually kill you. Mixing Pop Rocks and the carbonated beverage is even less dangerous, as once the carbon dioxide is released from the Pop Rocks, all that's left behind is sugar. So consuming a combo of Pop Rocks and Coke is pretty much the same as mixing sugar into your soft drink. The riskiest thing about it is how sweet it would be. Soda's sweet enough already. Adding extra sugar to it would be enough to make anyone queasy. Coca-Cola and Santa's origins. Did you just eat that whole cookie off the mantle? What, they left it out for Santa. We're Santa. Just like people like to say that Hallmark invented Valentine's Day, it's not uncommon to hear people credit Coca-Cola with the creation of Santa Claus. While Coca-Cola played a role in popularizing the modern depiction of Santa, they in no way invented it. The idea of a figure like Santa Claus has been around for hundreds of years and is present in many cultures. Inspiration drawn from several sources and years of evolution brought us the Santa we know and love today. Ah! Oh my God! Coca-Cola began incorporating Santa in their advertisements in the early 30s, depicting him as an old bearded man in a red suit with a bowl full of jelly. Many argue that this was the first time the character was ever illustrated in such a way, but this isn't the case. Santa's modern image came about in the late 19th or early 20th century, with a man named Thomas Nast being credited for its conception. Moreover, Santa Claus has been depicted as clad all in red for over 100 years prior to the release of Coca-Cola's first Santa-themed advertisement. You can now rest easy knowing that, while Christmas has become a celebration of mass consumerism, it turns out it might actually be slightly less based in consumerism than we've been led to believe. And isn't that a wholesome thought? Coke was originally green. What's the big deal? It's just like a green chicken. Coca-Cola is brown, and it has been since its release in 1886. Yet for some reason, there's a popular urban legend that back in the day, this soft drink was green. This is a prime example of how misinformation so easily spreads across the internet. The basis for this strange myth? Possibly the fact that Coca-Cola has occasionally used green cans and bottles to hold their famous soft drink. The company would never have even considered making this soda green, as its dark brown color was selected for a very specific reason. Back in Coca-Cola's early days, production was not nearly as standardized as it is today. Coloring the drink brown was the perfect way to mask any imperfections that may have occurred during the manufacturing process. This might make you a bit skeptical about the quality of Coke back then. I have to say I have some serious concerns about this operation. Today, the beverage continues to be colored a rich brown, probably just due to convention. People are used to Coke being brown, 7-Up being clear, and Orange Crush being orange. Trying to mess with the status quo would likely lead to serious outcry. If you ever found yourself wondering how exactly Coke gets its distinctive color, it's usually chalked up to dyes or caramel, which has been a regular ingredient in the soft drink over the years. So there you have it. Coca-Cola is not vegetarian friendly. I guess that kind of stuff does get the rumor mill grinding. The Coca-Cola rumor mill has also produced the urban legend that the famous soft drink contains some questionable ingredients. According to this rumor, Coke has been deceiving us all along. Allegedly, the soda's secret ingredient is pork. Now, the idea of a beverage containing meat is both weird and a little disgusting. Okay, it's more than just a little disgusting. Since Coca-Cola has never made any mention of their beverage containing animal products. It's a joke, right? <laughs> it's better be a joke. We've all been consuming it for years. You can see how a reveal like this would be upsetting. However, Coca-Cola had a good reason for never making the inclusion of meat in their soda public knowledge. That reason is, of course, that there's absolutely no truth to it. So if you're vegetarian, vegan, or simply think that pork has no right to be in liquid form, don't worry. No mammals or birds were harmed in the making of this beverage. Too much of a good thing.
It's too much! It's all too much! People are quick to point out the negative consequences of consuming too much of a good thing. This myth supports that claim in the most extreme way possible. The urban legend goes that once upon a time, a student living in India died after chugging eight Cokes. Now, are we saying that Coca-Cola is healthy? No. Are we saying that you too should try chugging eight cans in a row? Absolutely not. But are we saying that it's not lethal? Pretty much. That's good to know. It's safe to say that chugging eight Cokes would probably result in a nasty stomach ache, but death is unlikely. Recently, there's been a push for people to cut down on soft drinks, so it's possible that this rumor arose as a way to scare people into skipping the soda, or as a result of all the bad press Coke has been getting lately. Still, chugging eight cans of anything in a row is a bad idea. We're looking at all you college students out there, so it's recommended that you practice moderation in every everything you drink, Coca-Cola included. Losing my religion. Don't drag religion into this. Sorry. There's also been some talk of religious intolerance on Coca-Cola's part. As mentioned earlier, the rumors that pork was secretly being included in their sodas was said to be a form of hate directed towards Muslims, who avoid meat on the basis of their religion. These rumors led consumers to ask Coca-Cola if there are any religions that they promote or are affiliated with. The company was willing to answer, stating that they do not favor any religion over another. Additionally, they made it clear that they have always been and will continue to remain neutral in regard to any political causes and governments as well. Neutrality on their part makes sense from a business perspective, as their soft drinks are available worldwide, and they want them to be accessible to the largest portion of the population possible. While many of the other myths addressed on this list are funny and lighthearted, this isn't something to joke about. Religious intolerance is a serious accusation that absolutely shouldn't be made lightly. All-purpose cleaner. I used the red one to unclog the drain. <laughs> Far too many people have attempted this one without doing any real research. The concept of using Coca-Cola as an all-purpose cleaner and stain remover is a popular life hack. But if you take a closer look at the facts, this life hack may be more cool than it is practical. While trying to clean certain things, such as rust, oil stains, battery corrosion, and others, Coca Coca-Cola will yield amazing results. For other things like iron, tin, and steel, it will actually corrode the metal. So you need to do your research before pouring your favorite soft drink onto something you're looking to clean. Another thing to keep in mind is that it's sticky. Even in situations where it's a good cleaner, it will leave a sticky residue, whereas other cleaners won't. Also, it's very slow compared to other cleaners. The soaking times when using Coca-Cola as a cleaner will take hours, not minutes like dedicated cleaners. Another factor would be cost. Oh, that's gonna cost money. If you're using Coca-Cola as a bathroom cleaner, for example, you'll need to use quite a lot for one cleaning. Whereas with a dedicated bathroom cleaner, you will use much less, so it'll last you much longer, therefore being a more cost-effective solution when used for the same application. So while not a myth entirely, the idea that Coca-Cola is a true all-purpose cleaner and the best DIY cleaning solution just isn't all it's cracked up to be. Do you really want to live in a world without Coca-Cola? Stay right here and slide on over to one of our great videos. Just tap that screen. New to our channel and don't want to miss out? Then show us some love and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to join our notification squad.